And lo, the prophets doth speak of success. I was in my local B&M bargains yesterday picking up another set of the uh, Companions of the 13th Doctor figures from a friend John who's overseas and uh, really wanted the 13th Doctor set. And while I was there, I looked at the shelf and it was... Uh, the 13th Doctor figures were down to like two box sets. So I was like, oh, good timing. And there was like four unit box sets left. The lovely unit boys. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, well, they still haven't got any of the... Any of the Romanas and, and Sarah Jane sets in. All right, fair enough. And then my spider senses tingle, and I'm like, just, just check. So I I get on my knees because it's like the second shelf off the floor, just to give myself a moment to rifle through them, just like see if I can spot those words on the side of a box. And I don't have to look very far because on top of the others, like this, was a box, and I caught sight of that little word Romana two there, and I was like, right. Boom. Pulled it out. This was the only fourth Doctor figure set in my local B&M bargains. And I'm delighted I got it. Because this was the only other big release of this, this new set of B&M stuff that I really wanted. The Trout and Tardis, maybe one day. But these guys were the ones I really wanted. Um, they're in the new packaging. They've got that limited edition uh, sticker seal on the box. Um, got the TARDIS stuff on the side. The back is just pictures of the figures. I kind of wish there were some bios of the characters for maybe younger fans who are just curious and want to build a collection. Or even photos of the actors so that you can, you know, see what the figures look like in comparison. But here we have Sarah Jane Smith in her Genesis of the Daleks attire. Uh, Romana the First, uh, as played by Mary Tam, in her uh, Pirate Planet outfit. And Lala Ward as Romana, Second Incarnation. Um, in her Destiny of the Daleks outfit, which of course mirrors the Doctor's outfit um, of, of that same story, except in pink. Uh, I mean, these these look amazing. Let's let's just let's just get them open and have a good look, shall we? Eh? Think we should do that. They still my beating hearts, all five of them. Um, this is awesome. I'm I, as a kid, my Doctor Who was John Pertwee repeats. So the third Doctor era was my era, which is why I would delight to get hold of the unit set. But I have a huge affection for the Tom Baker era, in particular because one of my favourite stories of Doctor Who ever is City of Death, from uh, Tom and Lala's time on the show. So to have a Romana is very cool. To have a classic Sarah Jane, finally, is super cool. And to have both Romanas. I never thought in a million years we'd get a Mary Tam Romana. So, as she's sort of the uh, the surprise entry, as it were, let's start with her. Lala. You should lie her down before she gets too excited. Um, let's start with the likeness. That's pretty Bob on. That is a pretty damn Bob on likeness of Mary Tam. Uh, paint is, as we've said in the previous reviews, a lot more simplistic and uh, there's less nuance in the paint nowadays on the faces, which is a shame, but you can see that is Mary Tam. That is the fabulousness that is Mary Tam herself. Neck, tiny bit too long. I know it's to incorporate the hair, but it just looks a little like, you know, she, 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 was, a, she, was, slend she was a slender woman. But, like, that neck is almost a little too long, I'd say. Um, especially for posing, because it just sort of looks a little odd. In fact, the head, head doesn't even turn properly. Because it just gets caught on the collar. Uh, I don't know which primeval figures have been reused to create this. As someone in the comments who knows, let me know. But, great Pirate Planet costume recreation here. The white, sort of, uh, full body suit, complete with the pink uh, sleeve, a short sleeve jacket atop. Although here it's sort of like a coloured, all one coloured piece. Um, standard character articulation, including the OG swivel arms, which would make sense if this was reusing parts from a primeval figure because they hadn't done the, the socket arms yet. Um, she doesn't stand too well because she's got tiny little feet. And those tiny little feet have little wedge heels. But looks great. And, and just sort of for a bit of, a bit of comparison... Um, She's, she's, oh god, she's not standing up completely straight here. For a bit of comparison, let's put her next to a, a Tom. Um, so yeah, that's about right, Tom's a bit taller. Uh, let's have a little look at Sarah Jane, finally a classic era Sarah Jane, specifically Genesis the Daleks, so if you have your Harry Sullivan, a Genesis Tom, and uh, Davros and stuff, you could have a little Genesis display on your shelf. I think I've got the Davros... Uh, and probably got a Tom from Genesis somewhere unless I've sold him. I've sold a few Toms over the years, a few Toms and a few uh, Davids to make room in my collection. Um, paint's a little simplistic to the point where my list laden is a little bit 
little bit boss-eyed, but it's not obvious until you get close like this. Uh, youthful Sarah Jane face. This is great, because obviously we've had Sarah Jane figures before, based on School Reunion and the Sarah Jane Adventures, which of course use the same mould. We've got our old school haircut, uh, the green jacket, the military pants, the boot swivels, there's a surprise extra bit of articulation there. Um, these guys are definitely from Primeval, because I'm not familiar with this type of plastic mould, but it, they feel like... I'm not going to do it, but it feels like you can go and pop the legs off quite smoothly, it's sort of like... The articulation is very loose on the waists on all three of these figures, really. Well, these two, not so much Romana too. But um, everything else is sort of usual stiff standard character options. It's just cool to have have a tiny Sarah Jane, like, you know, classic era accurate Sarah. Uh, customizers who've got hold of this, let me know if you can pop the head off easily and sort of swap with other bodies because you could obviously put her in different outfits. And again, for a little bit of comparison size wise, let's pair her with a Tom from, uh, from season 12. Um, looking pretty good. And last but certainly not least, Romana 2, Lala Ward, Clever Prime. Um, again, likeness is very, very good. Uh, I almost feel like the lips are overdone slightly, but that's more for definition with the, these lesser paint applications, because uh, Lala Ward sort of has a much softer complexion overall, so I feel like the lips almost feel a little cartoony, but you can still tell it's her. It's got her very distinct, like, sort of, you know, cherubic cheeks. Um, costume wise again I'm not sure what's being reused but the boots are bob on uh, the inside of the coat sorry Romana the braces of the thing are just literally painted onto the white which is a bit weird uh, that's not the articulation the articulation is under the skirt but the skirt is bent in a certain way that suggests that she's crooked when she's facing forward she's not but it, it took me a few minutes to realise that it wasn't broken or busted uh, like the tom of her era this doesn't have a collar that sticks out beyond the surface of the coat, so the scarf can't be tucked under the collar like it actually is in a lot of the story in Destiny, but you can of course pair her up with your Destiny the Daleks Daleks um, and Tom if you've got him. The scarf is quite rubbery um, but again a much welcome accessory and I just again I'm so happy we've got her. I'm so happy we have a decent Romana, two Romanas and a classic Sarah Jane I just, I'm, I'm delighted. I'm really, really, really happy with this set, and it's great to finally sort of see an expansion now with, with the unit boys, with Ryan and Yaz, uh, and and with uh, with Graham in the recent wave, and with the Romanas and Sarah Jane to see more companions getting a spotlight. Oh, it's about bloody time! So they can finally join uh, Joe, Ace, uh, and Perry, uh, and the Brigadier, uh, I suppose. In, in the sort of slowly, finally, but slowly, uh, and Leela, of course, slowly expanding companions range from the classic era. Uh, what do you think of this set? Did you manage to get hold of it yourself? Um, is this your first exposure to it? What do you think of them now that they're in person with two older Tom figures from the earlier wave from over a decade ago? Oh, my God! Um... Do you like how they look? Is there a specific figure you want me to review in the future, a toy you'd like me to review? If you don't mind parting with the cash for it, let me know. I'll put it on my wish list, which is linked below in the description. You can buy it for me, and I will review it, and of course give you a big shout out and loads of love for doing so. You might also think, why are you asking us to buy your toys? You don't have to buy me toys at all. I'll happily review stuff that I pick up from time to time myself, just like these wonderful action figures. Um, either way, I'll be back with more toy reviews and gameplay and Lord knows what soon. To keep abreast of all my stuff, check out official CDJ on all social media platforms, and I will catch you later.